Hey everybody, TJ here at Wisconsin Night. Today we're going to talk about tool bags. Tool bags for your motorcycle. We're not talking about the stuff that's going to turn your garage into a certified Harley repair shop. This is the stuff that you're going to have on your bike all the time on your daily rides. You might want some more stuff if you're going on a longer trip somewhere. You might want different things that suit your needs. This is what I carry on my bike for my daily rides. The bag I'm using comes from Farm and Fleet, it's made by or Interstate Leather. Uh, I actually got this out of the snowmobile section. I found uh, it's a little bit bigger than a standard windshield bag for a motorcycle and it was about five dollars cheaper. I have this mounted on the frame up front, or it was mounted on the frame, now it's on my crash bars. It has a little bolt through it that goes through a space that is on the frame that is designed to have something mounted to it and that happens to be right where the bolt goes through for the crash bars. Now inside the bag I have a second bag where I actually keep all the tools. It just makes it easier to get everything in and out that way. Now inside the bag I have a handful of different hand tools. Uh, as a rule don't put anything inside your tool bag that's going to break your heart if it gets stolen. Things get stolen off of motorcycles all the time. This is emergency stuff. This is not going to be your expensive things that you're going to be using in your garage. These are going to be things that are needed on a, an emergency repair, something being done on the road. So don't go out and get a $500 set of snap-on wrenches and throw them on your bike because somebody else is going to have a set of $500 snap-on wrenches in their bike. So for starters, the one good thing that I do keep in my bag, just because I like it, it's a Stanley Ratchet. Uh, this doesn't only turn in the typical sense but it also is able to be twisted that way I find that really easy to use when I'm working on the bike it's the only thing that I would really feel heartbroken if it disappeared while I was riding set of locking pliers uh, the vice grip pliers they're they're invaluable if you need to hold on to something tight especially if you need to have that have both hands free while holding something in place um, and I talked to a guy one time who had his shifter break off while he was riding he reached into his tool bag pulled out a pair of vice grips clamped it onto his shifter and used that to get home so good thing to have with you also pliers for the same reason if you've got nothing else with your bike have some kind of a multi-tool with a pair of pliers some wire cutters on it a screwdriver and and a knife yeah, this is a cheap one it's probably five or ten dollars at some random hardware store i think it was given to me as a gift this is on my bike all the time and i'll be darned if i don't use it quite frequently socket wrenches um i've got them in a little ziploc baggie here normally i would use a better heavy duty bag but we're trying to make a video here so um, I'm not going to take all of these out, but I do have socket wrenches, socket sets in here with extension bits. I have two different sizes of sockets, and we'll go into what those kinds of sockets are. These are all, I ride a Harley, so these are standard. If you ride some other kind of bike, you're probably going to need some kind of a, a set of metric ones. Um, but generally, the sockets that I use, they come in two different drive sizes. The quarter inch drive which would be the kind that you would put on the end of a screwdriver and the larger half inch size now this size works with this wrench this size does not so I also keep an adapter so so that I can use the smaller drive size with the larger wrench that adapter is in this other bag up here where I also keep my bits. So this takes that size down to this size of a drive. And then what a lot of people might not know, and I find this to be a really handy trick, is on your smaller screwdriver bit type things, this quarter inch stem will fit into a quarter inch socket. So if you put this onto a quarter inch socket, you 
you are then able to use a screwdriver, hex bit, or a Torx bit with a socket wrench for torque makes your life a whole lot easier. Um, I have a set with a whole bunch of common bit sizes for things that you're going to use. Uh, Phillips tip screwdrivers, the star-shaped Torx drivers, some hex sizes. Um, one that is not does not come in most sets that Harley Davidson uses is called a T45. The T45 fits some of the larger bolts on the bike, uh, specifically the air cleaner cover. And I have had to re put that back on while going down the road. I actually lost a bolt one time for that. So I had to buy this separate and I keep that with my other ones. Something else handy is a little thumb, a little thumb wheel for using these smaller bits. That allows you to get into some of those tight spaces and turn those bolts without having to try and get a wrench in there when the wrench won't fit. Spare fuses for your bike. Um, nothing will ruin your day faster than blowing a fuse when you're stuck somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Um, if these, you gotta have you gotta have fuses. Your bike needs them to run. Pick up an extra set of them. Throw throw them in there somewhere. Duct tape it to the top of the, of your battery and underneath your seat if you have to, but have those fuses with you. I have an old card here and I've got some duct tape and some electrical tape wrapped around it. Uh, I actually had an electrical fire while I was riding one time. Bike wouldn't start afterwards. I had to put all, I had to take a whole bunch of wires and put them back together right there on the spot and tape them up. So having some electrical tape with you can save your butt. After I got all the wires put back together, and made a space between the battery and the wiring harness that had shorted out, I was able to start the bike and ride off again. Of course, my speedometer didn't work after that, but you make do with what you have. Zip ties. Zip ties are invaluable. They weigh nothing. Get a whole bunch of them. Have them in your bike. I cannot even begin to tell you how many times I've used zip ties to hold things together going down the road, especially when you do lose a bolt once in a while. Um, my seat bolt in particular, I lost the set screw for my seat going down the road. I used zip ties and a key ring, two key rings, in order to get that through there and hold my seat on until I could get home and fix it. Get some zip ties, they're worth having. Tire pressure gauge, kind of self-explanatory. I have some sunscreen, which I'll, you know, if you've ever gone any long rides, sunscreen, gotta have it. It's not really a tool, but it's something that's handy to have on your bike, and so I've got it there. Super glue. Sometimes you just need to get stuff to hold together. Now, I highly recommend having some kind of a headlamp. Uh, trust me on this one. You're trying to repair something on your bike. It's dark, or even during the daylight, you can't always see what you're doing. Having a headlight in your bag is invaluable. Unfortunately, my headlight broke I just the other day, the little mount that holds it onto the strap broke so I need to replace it. I still have the light in my bag but it's December in Wisconsin. I'm not going anywhere on my bike anytime soon. I have time to replace that. Now the heavier stuff. Set of standard bo box end wrenches. Uh, your bike it has bolts all over it holding things together. A set of wrenches. They don't have to be real expensive. They don't even have to be matching brands. I got some Craftsman in here and a bunch of other stuff. Um, Craftsman tools are guaranteed for life, so I use those whenever possible. I have one in here that is not standard. I have one metric wrench in here. It's an eight millimeter. The eight millimeter wrench happens to be the same size as your terminal bolts on your battery. Um, there is a standard metric size that that is the same i can't remember what it's called i don't have the right standard wrench for it so i use an eight millimeter i have a smaller drive socket wrench uh, to go with those quarter inch drives too um, two is one and one is none if you're relying on having one socket that's going to work on you the first time you torque on a bolt that's stuck you're going to break your socket wrench especially if it's a cheap one like this one that's why i have two of them and it's almost guaranteed that if you have to remove four bolts from something, three of them are gonna come out very easily and that fourth one's gonna to cling to it like the last Twinkie in a Woody Harrelson movie. So have good stuff that you can get bolts off with. 
and don't rely on one tool to do the job. I have an extension bit because sometimes those, the, those sockets need to get deep into cavities where you just cannot reach by hand and you cannot get your socket wrench to, to fit in there. So having an extension makes your life a whole lot easier. I have a shorter short extension and a long one. Well worth having. Make sure you throw those in your kit. An adjustable wrench. Adjustable wrenches strip bolts. Do not get an adjustable wrench and assume that that is going to be your, your do-all, be-all savior for working on your bike. The adjustable wrench is used for holding the back, holding the nut of something when you're out front with the socket wrench cranking away. Okay, my camera battery died, so I had to switch to another camera. Okay, other things that we've got in here um, is a a small screwdriver bit driver. Uh, this is like from a dollar store or something. Now, th something to keep in mind, if you take a good look here, you can probably see that that bit that's on there right now is pretty rusted. Um, in fact, I'm going to throw that bit away and not use it for anything. Keep an eye on these tools. You got to keep a little bit of oil on them. If you're not using stainless steel stuff, it will rust on you. So we're just going to have to get rid of that bit. But Still, cheap little driver makes your life a whole lot easier. Also, sometimes you need to reach those screws in something that's so thin you need a regular regular diameter screwdriver to get into there. So I've got a little two-in-one screwdriver. It's got the Phillips on one side, and it's got the flat on the other. Um, it's, not, it's nothing special. I picked it up many years ago. And which is why it looks all rusty and corroded and bent up because it's been in different bags and used for different jobs throughout the years and it's definitely earned its keep. Torx, Torx bolts are used all over Harley Davidson's. Um, now, as we already discussed, I've got the Torx, I've got some Torx sized star bits in here, but sometimes. When, just like when we talked about that one bolt that's not going to release for you, you can break those bits pretty easily if they're cheap. So having a decent set of, of Torx wrenches will definitely pay off in the long run. So there you have it. It's a real basic tool set. Um, the thing's heavy. It weighs almost as much as the motorcycle battery. That's why I keep it mounted up front, keep that little center of gravity in there. Um, if you're going on a longer trip, like I said, you're probably going to want different things. A lot of you are noticing that I don't have any tire tools in there. I keep those in a different part of my bike. And it's not something that I have a whole lot of experience with. I'll, do, I'll go into changing tires and using tire tools at a later time. But right now, these are the basics that you should have with you all the time, no matter where you're going. If you need to scale it back a little bit to meet your needs, then do what you got to do. Um, but trust me. It's worth it to have the stuff with you. It's also, it makes you a rock star when somebody else has something break down and they don't have any tools to fix it. You're there to save the day. So once again, it's TJ at Wisconsinite saying have, have a good day, ride safe, and find that freedom you're looking for.